Hello, my name is Molly Urban, and today I wanted to share another perspective on leadership, specifically centered around communication. Some of the biggest mistakes that happen are a result of miscommunication, from friendly fire in the military to executing against the wrong initiatives in business. See, our goal shouldn't be just to avoid miscommunication, and it should go beyond a desire for clear communication onto healthy and collaborative communication. The problem is, is that it requires something that feels so unnatural for so many of us leaders to slow down. See, we're so focused and driven and goal-oriented that our teams and others become casualties to our goals. As a leader, do you slow down to first understand others and where they're coming from before you're looking to communicate your point? Or do you bulldoze and drive your agenda forward at the expense of others? So many leaders that I work with have rationalized behaviors and decisions based on maybe a color energy they lead with, a personality type letter or differentiator that they've been told that they lead with. The problem is, is that we are creating casualties as we are trying to be collaborative. We're working against ourselves. If we truly want to engage with others, we need to begin with understanding them first, even though it requires us to slow down. Are you using collaborative communication when interacting with others? There's an actual framework that you can use to then understand if you are being collaborative in your communication and encourage others to do the same. Out of the gate, the most basic framework is to first ask questions, seek to understand. So many leaders ask me what I mean when I say seek to understand. It's asking questions. It's getting the other person's perspective and vantage point, not projecting or assuming meaning or intent from the other person. It's asking and being open to them sharing and then listening to understand, not listening to reply. The second part of collaborative communication is sharing on yourself and making statements on yourself, avoiding those you statements on other people. You showed up late. You're sharing from your vantage point and your perspective. To me, I believe, I think, I feel in my perspective. Those are the kind of statements that promote collaborative communication. And then lastly, answering questions asked of you. When people are asking you questions, do you answer? How many times have you replied with a thumbs up in a chat when you are asked a question? Is that actually answering the question? Do you pursue collaborative communication in your various interactions? Or are others becoming casualties to your agenda? Thank you for letting me share my leadership thought today. Have a great week.